My name is Representative Mike Noel. I uh, represented Brian Head for about 10 years and your great mayor here, retired Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel. That's Deutschland. He's a fantastic guy. And we're sure glad we saved this area. It's all thanks to the firefighters that have come in. But I'm going to take a little bit different approach today. I'll ask Mike Maurer to step over here if he would. Up on Cedar, up on Panguitch Lake area, we almost lost the fire up there. The fire came right down to 143. If it had gotten into what we call Mammoth Creek drainage, it would have shot south right up to Mammoth Creek. It would have got into that area. You have over 300 homes there and 40% of the tax base for Garfield County, the county I represent. It would go from there, another four or five miles, six miles, into what we call Duck Creek Village. In that area, you have $600 million worth of property. That's half the tax base for Kane County. What stopped that? Some dang good firefighters, but also weather. We had a change in weather. With this wind that's coming up now, I'm very concerned. Danny Perkins was out on the fire for a long period of time, and this is something he sent me. He sent me this picture, which was a quarter mile away from another picture. Look at that picture in green. See what's on the bottom of that picture. You see those stumps right there? That area was logged. We've had people actually say from environmental organizations say, I'd rather see the whole forest burn than to see a stump. Well, I'll tell you what, if that, if that doesn't get you, here's a dog hair stand. And here's the stand right next to that green one. This is what you get when you make stupid statements like that. This is how you destroy an area, how you destroy a, a resort up here. We had bark beetles here in 1993. Ron Wilson, right here, he's our manager now, down in this area for state lands and forestry. He tried with the Forest Service to go take those bark beetles out, to cut those trees, to stop the progression of bark beetles. He was stopped by, quote, the Friends of Dixie. Where are the Friends of Dixie now? There are people stopping off in Panguitch right now giving money at the courthouse for people that lost their home. Where's the Grand Canyon Trust? Where's the Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance? Where's the Friends of Dixie? They're not here when this disaster happens. And this is what you end up with. You end up with somebody's house, and that's the end of it. That's the story. I saw people up in Panguitch crying because their cabins were lost. One cabin had been there almost 70 years. They lost all their history, all the background that cami. Uh, that cabin burned down. Again, I thank these firefighters. This Type 2 team is first class in my mind. That, that initial strike team is first class. But when you get build up like this, this is what the fire guy said, 28 years on a fire. I've never seen a run like what happened here. Eight miles in one day, 16,000 acres of fire burned. Another four or five miles the next day. Fuels that burn a build up like we have here. When you have 70 million board feet of timber being grown every single year and you allow to harvest 6 million board feet, that's 66 million board feet of fire. When you allow trees to burn or to, to die from bark beetle and you build them up, you're going to get a catastrophic fire. So they haven't seen this in 28 years because we haven't done stupid stuff like this. When we turn the forest service over to the bird and bunny lovers and the tree huggers and the rock lickers, we turned our history over. And the fire is going to do more damage because we're going to lose our watershed, we're going to lose our soils, we're going to lose our wildlife, and we're going to lose our scenery. The very thing you people wanted to try to protect. It's just plain stupidity. Sorry I had to say that, but I hope we get a national audience on this because I think we got a president that can make a difference in this, and the Secretary of Interior and the Secretary of Agriculture. They're going to fix this problem. Thank you very much. Thanks. Anyone else would like to?